M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Big thank you to G8ITV for sending me this device. It's an older open spot and I'm going to be testing it and it works via Ethernet and it has a micro USB to power it. This is the cable or the power supply that came with it. We're going to first of all test it with my Fusion set. Why? Because you just put in a simplex frequency and away you go. So I thought, well, let's start simple and work up from there. In the background, I've got my I've network got radio. So uh, listening to that, it's a screenless network, network radio and such good fun and easy well, and uh, programmed via box. your PC. Uh, anyway, let's get on and um, plug this into the power supply and let's get it working. Next step, let's get the frequency into our FT5. And we've put it in single mode by holding down the A and the B. It's a bit simpler, like that. We've already typed in the frequency by holding our finger on the top screen, typing the frequency, 433900. Now we want it to be simplex. So we go hold down the F menu, config, and then you've got re repeater shift at 15, tap it, and look, you want it off, because it's simplex. You don't need any tones either, so hold it down. Just go to signaling, squelch type is 11. Then go, turn it to off, let's go back. Squelch type, tap F menu, on, off. That's it, we've got a simplex channel basically. And we're ready for our hotspot. We've got the Ethernet cable plugged in, the micro USB cable here and here. We can reset it. We're gonna just see what's in there at the moment. There's the radio ready, antennas on it, flashing away nicely. We're gonna look for it, look for it on our network. Well, we're all connected and we've got to this page. So what we're going to do now is log in. Now the login password is open spot lowercase. So let's type that in. O P E N S P O T. And I'll say remember me. You can change it in settings. And we're in. Now we have had a little practice, so we're already receiving items. But I'm going to show you how we connected to the station that we just spoke to. You select connectors at the top. Then you put select where you want to go. So at the moment we went to YSF reflector, just here. Then we put in the frequency that we're using on the FT5D. And then we drop down here to CQ UK and click save. You can probably hear that in the background. When you click save, it connects. We'll try our, a different radio shortly, but this is for the FT5. And that's it. Now, there, you, you can actually update this device it, with the firmware. The best place to look is actually here on the status page. Probably you've got the latest, 1.1.433, which seems to be the latest. Firmware is available. There's still a web page for the open spot, although the, you know, the, the sort of, um, support has gone now, but the information is there and so is the download for the firmware and a video as well showing you how to configure it. I'll put the link in the description. If we look here, there is firmware available, although it does say 1.142 and you can download that. It's a bin file and there it is there at the bottom left. Go back to the open spot then select the advanced tick here on the bottom right, advanced. Click settings and go down and you can select bootloader. Now you can manually do this by, if you look at the, uh, at the open spot, you've got the micro USB and a little dot or a little hole here. So poke the hole until you feel the little button click, but don't push too hard. Don't use a pin, I would use a pen. Then power it and it would effectively go into bootloader mode. When you're in bootloader mode, it will show up as a USB drive. But we can do this just using the, the software. So at the top here, you've select settings. You click the tab, go to the bottom and click reboot to loader. Do you really want to? You click reboot and what happens? 
click reboot successful please load the page manually after open spot now at this point you need to plug the device into your PC using the micro USB cable you now have this new window appear if you click your files here at the bottom of the little yellow file this new window appears and you can go to the show in folder and look at your bin file that you've got and you just literally I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to mess with my one but you drag it into the bootloader and that's how you do the firmware but you shouldn't re need to do that if you look at the device now it have got two green lights flashing that's because it's in boot bootloader mode um, you know ready to accept that firmware and then then just start again from scratch okay well thanks for watching my channel catch you on air 7.3 all the best